In this video, you will learn to construct a segment congruent to a given segment, construct an angle congruent to a given angle, and how to construct the bisector of an angle. Now, as we begin, we first must understand what are the rules for creating a construction. So what does a construction mean? Well, what it means is we're using only a straight edge, so something uh, that is straight, maybe like a ruler, or it could be you know, the edge of a protractor, or even the edge of a book, or a, a driver's license, whatever. Um, any sort of straight edge we can use. And then we also can use a compass, so the uh, geometry compass that creates circles. And we're going to use that to create a geometric shape. So for all of this, when we are making these constructions, we can only use the compass and the straight edge. So the first construction we're going to do is we are constructing a segment that is congruent to another given segment. So if we could use a ruler, you know, we could just measure it out. But um, what we're trying to do is just use, again, the, the straight edge and the compass. So let's say we were given this segment, segment AB. And we're trying to construct a segment congruent to this. Well, what you want to do is begin by starting with the beginning point and then drawing just any random line like this and make it longer than what the uh, line we're trying to copy is. And then what you do is you're going to take your compass and you put the one end here, so like the, the needle point end on this point and then the end with the pencil over here on the other point. And what you do is you're going to pick up your compass you're going to bring it over here to this other segment that you just created and put, again, the, the needle point on this end point right here. And then the pencil part you're going to put right here. And all you do is just mark off where that would, where that would be on this line. And you're going to have this point right there. So once you have that point, you now can erase the remaining part, the part that is um, out, outside of it, and we have here this segment. So here we have a segment that is congruent to segment AB. And notice we've labeled this as A prime B prime, so A with a apostrophe and B with an apostrophe. Uh, we see that a lot in geometry. It indicates that um, the A prime corresponds with the A over here, and the B prime corresponds with point B over here. All right, so that's how you create a segment congruent to another given segment. So next we're going to create an angle congruent to another angle. Now let's say here we had this angle created and we're trying to copy this one. What you do is you begin by drawing the bottom of the given angle. So create a bottom part like this. You can make it longer than the original if you want. It doesn't matter the length. Um, and then what you do is you take your compass and you put um, you put the needle or the, the pointy part right here on this vertex. And then the pencil part you're going to put right here. Some, just anywhere, it doesn't matter the length that you create, that you make the compass, as long as you have this needle point on the vertex. And what you do is you're going to grab up here on the top and you're going to rotate uh, this compass so that it creates a little arc. So the arc would look something like that. All right, so it's going to create this arc. And what you do is you're going to pick up the compass. Don't change the length at all. Keep it the same. And you put the needle right here at the beginning, at this vertex of this, this segment. And you're going to create another arc over here. So create an arc with that compass that we just had. So take the compass, create an arc, and you get something like this. All right, then what you're going to do is you're going to take your compass again and you move it as needed so that um, one end of the compass is here uh, at this point where it crosses over this side of the angle. And the other part of the compass is going to touch right here where it hits the other, the other um, side right there at that point. And then you're going to pick up your compass. Don't change the length and you bring it over here and you put it right at this point. And what you do is you're going to rotate the compass. So 
you're holding to the top right here, you just rotate it, and you're going to create a little arc like that. So take it and create an arc like that by rotating, and we see that it intersects right there. So that point where they intersect, that tells us where to draw the other side through. So it's going to go from this point right here, and it's going to go through that intersection of the two arcs like that. All right, so that's how you create an angle congruent to another angle. Now lastly, we're going to work with constructing the bisector of an angle. So here we are going to have the same angle, um, and this works for any angle, doesn't matter. And to create the bisector, I guess make sure you know what bisector means. Bisector means to cut it in half. So we're going to create some sort of segment that's going to cut it in half. All right, so this is just kind of an approximation. It's going to look something like that, but we're going to get the exact location of that bisector by constructing with a compass and a straight edge. So to do this with your compass and straight edge, you take your compass and you put the, the metal part right here at the vertex. So the pencil part is over here on this side. It does not matter how far you, you uh, stretch or extend the compass, it doesn't matter the length, just make it a comfortable uh, distance out. And what you do is you're going to hold the top and you're going to rotate it so that this compass will create an arc. All right, so it's going to create an arc like this. So right there, it's going to create an arc. So once you create the arc like that, what you do is you're going to take the compass and you're going to put it here at this point. Don't, uh, you can change the length, doesn't matter the length at this point. You can change it if you want. Um, so you take it, put the needle part right here, the pencil part on this side, grab it with your hand, and you're going to rotate to create an arc. So you're going to create an arc like that. Now here it's important, where once you, whatever length you had this at for that arc right there, do not change the length of your compass. You pick it up, don't change the length, and you take it over here. Take it to this other point that is crossing over. And what you do is you're going to, again, uh, turn the compass so that the pencil part will create an arc over here, like that. And now we have two arcs that we just created right there. So what you do now is see how the intersects right there at this point. So the intersection point right there shows us where to draw your bisector. It's going to go from the vertex of the angle through the intersection of those two arcs. And that's how you find your angle bisector. Now we're going to expand on that concept of the angle bisector. And what we have is what we call the in-center of a triangle. And what this is, is it is the point at which the three angle bisectors of a triangle intersect, right? Because a triangle has three different sides and three angles. So if you bisect each of those angles, they will intersect at a particular point. So the in-center also is equidistant from each of the three sides. So what that means is we could use the in-center to create an inscribed circle. So what does that look like? Well, here's a triangle. And let's say we were to inscribe, or not inscribe, but create an uh, angle bisector for this left angle right here. Okay, the angle bisector we can construct as we showed in the previous part of the lesson. And when you create it, it's going to get a segment like this. Then you do that for the bottom right angle down here. You would construct your angle bisector, and you would get something like that. And then for this top angle up here, we again can create an angle bisector using your compass and straight edge. And if you do that correctly, it's going to look something like this. Notice that all three angle bisectors intersect here at one point. That point is called the in-center. And this in-center can be used to create an inscribed circle. Inscribed circle meaning you have a circle that is inside of the triangle and that touches each of the sides of the triangle at exactly one point. So what you do is you'd get your compass and you'd put your compass right here at the center and then you would create a circle that touches at exactly one point on each side. So you have to maybe experiment a little bit and 
um, move your compass around to get that exact length that you need. And if you do it, you're going to get a circle looking like this. So we can use your in-center to create an inscribed circle. And that concludes our lesson for today. We will see you next time.